Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to play the last remaining campaign in this uh, mercenary career, which is called Dire Circumstances, and it's coming from Toron Concordat representative. So, uh, for that matter, I've arrived uh, to this uh, conflict zone in here, which is called uh, Toran Corridor, uh, where this uh, particular campaign is going to take place. I don't quite remember yet uh, which uh, planet uh, it is uh, located on, but it's gonna be in this conflict zone. So, as you can see, this is the year of 3043, and this um, particular campaign isn't uh, necessarily the most difficult one, as it uh, requires uh, only reputation of 5. However, however, it is uh, the hardest one to get to, because this conflict zone, uh, Toran Corridor, is located remotely from everything else. It's uh, on the, the, the Davion border, uh, which is going into the periphery, like uh, southern, uh, southern Davion border in here. Now, I would like to use this video as an opportunity to talk about um, a problem uh, related to this particular uh, conflict zone, Toran Corridor, uh, which is uh, like a house Davion's border with the uh, Toran Concordat, which is the periphery state. So here is the problem. Uh, I do like this uh, conflict zone a lot because uh, we've got some great contracts in here, well-paid contracts, and I also like because we've got the most challenging missions in here. It's, uh, it's a fairly ch challenging conflict zone, but there is a huge problem with it. And the problem is the lack of any nearby industrial hubs. Because... If I were to travel from here to the nearest uh, industrial hub, it's gonna take me a whopping 76 days. This is the nearest industrial hub. You see, it's gonna take 76 days to travel, right? It's gonna take more than that to travel here or here, obviously, and any of this uh, industrial hubs, which are, by the way, uh, good industrial hubs, uh, they are out of range. You see, I can't even, uh, like, 90 days and, uh, and more. So, this is a huge problem with this conflict zone. So, uh, in case if uh, developers happen to watch this video someday, or um, if uh, any of you guys could please share this with them, we need an additional industrial hub somewhere over here. Because also when you are playing, let's say, uh, when you are fighting Capellan Confederation in this area, this is also sort of uh, remotely uh, located from this, uh, 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 this industrial hubs over here. And then speaking of these industrial hubs, I do like them. Uh, sometimes you can get some really good mechs there and we weapon. But the problem is, like, there are just way too many of them. Way too many of them concentrated in this um, distant area uh, from any um, major conflict zones. Plus, it's gonna take you almost a year to visit every single one of them, which is uh, absolutely unnecessary. Absolutely, it's absolutely unnecessary to have so many of them concentrated in this small area. Instead, I would advise relocate some of this industrial hub to somewhere over here in this area. All right. 
and also uh, the uh, house Davion has been fighting the Capellan uh, Confederation and Toran uh, Concordat for quite some time. Uh, why wouldn't they have uh, at least one uh, or two industrial hubs somewhere over here? It just doesn't make any sense. Now, on the other hand, speaking of um, uh, Toron Concordat, this uh, periphery state, this is actually uh, quite a powerful periphery state. Because when you look at the history of this state, uh, they, uh, they've been uh, fighting very hard and quite heroically for their independence from uh, Star League and from Great Houses. They really value their identity and they are quite patriotic um, and uh, they are also sophisticated uh, they, they are pretty much self-sufficient that's why they didn't wanna pay any taxes to Star League they just wanted to be there uh, live there on their own and they fought really hard for them and they are actually pretty badass they uh, indeed they are pretty self-sufficient they even manufactured their own mechs and uh, warships spaceships jump ships anything and uh, during uh, starlick era during the re reunification wars they almost killed uh, kerensky uh, while uh, piloting his atlas so they are pretty badass and for that matter, my thinking is, like, why wouldn't they have at least uh, one industrial hub somewhere over here in, in their state? It, it just, just doesn't make any sense. Like, why when we are uh, using this, um, why, we, why when we are fighting in this uh, combat area, we have to fly all the way over there to repair, let's say, some salvaged mechs and uh, doing some refits because uh, re repair cost, as you can see, and repair time in this area is, uh, is uh, quite extensive. It's like plus uh, uh, 115 and 135%. So it just doesn't make any sense not to have at least one industrial hub on either of these sides because speaking of the periphery states for instance when you take a look at the other um, famous periphery straight uh, state uh, magistracy of canopus which is right here uh, and which is by the way where my previous mission took place uh, campaign mission which was in this conflict zone they do have their own industrial hub which is located on hardcore you see this is the entertainment world this is where uh, you've played a couple of uh, campaign missions uh, while fighting alongside um, duncan fisher uh, during solaris uh, showdown campaign this is an entertainment world and they have some Pretty great arena contracts, by the way, and pretty great industrial hub as well, where you can find actually pretty great uh, weapons and uh, pretty great mechs, too. So they do have uh, this uh, one industrial hub in there, so why can't uh, this uh, badass uh, Toran Concordant uh, have, any, have any industrial hub here as well? So, that's, uh, that's my thinking. Uh, we do need uh, to have at least, you know, one or two industrial hubs somewhere around here, uh, on ha House Davion side, or at least one industrial hub in, in the uh, Toran Concordat territory. So, that's, uh, that, that would be my advice for the developers. Uh, please let me know if you would agree with me. Uh, on that in the comments or disagree for that matter maybe i'm just uh, you know may maybe i just don't know what i'm talking about anyways anyways so um 
let's go ahead and um, accept this uh, last transmission this last campaign transmission let's see what it has to say hello mercenary living out in the Toran concordat we've learned to sleep with uh, one eye open the threat of a Davion invasion is always looming overhead and we've spotted a potential uh, shark in the waters the planet of uh, Certain uh, was recently raided by what appeared to be a Davion cutting party coming from the Montor system. Protector Calderon uh, sees uh, this as uh, a clear sign that Hans Davion has already begun infiltrating our nation in attempt to cordon the entire Concordat. The Protector wants to ready the entire nation for war and initiate a preemptive uh, container invasion, counter invasion. But high ranking officials in the Toran Defense Force want to handle this incident in a more level headed way. We would like to enlist your services to investigate this raiding party and destroy those responsible for the raid on certain. Uh, your first uh, mission is to confirm that these raiders truly were affiliated with the Federated Suns. We want you to travel out to the Mantor system and provoke the local defenders into attacking you. We will monitor their unit composi uh, compositions and see if they have any marks that would affiliate them with the raiders that attacked Syreton. Provided that you help us track down those responsible for the certain raids, we are prepared to offer you a heavy mech as a payment for the group's uh, utter destruction. Good luck. We are counting on you. Yes, and as a bonus, as a, uh, as a completion bonus, they are giving you this Marauder MAD-3D, MAD which is my favorite early in-campaign Marauder variant. All energy-based, you see? It's got three large energy slots and two uh, medium energy slots. I absolutely love this variant. This is one of my favorite early in-campaign mechs in general. So, let's go ahead and finally accept this last remaining uh, transmission other than Rayanas. and that's gonna be it for uh, this uh, mercenary campaign because I've uh, as you can see I've I've done all other campaigns and I've also done with the main mercenary campaign where I've destroyed the Camstar all right so Let's go ahead and see where do we need to travel. Oh man, that's quite far. Yikes. 69 whopping days to get there from here. Yeah. That's really, really far. Really, really far, especially given the fact that my last campaign mission was happening over there. And as I was traveling... I also undertook a few multiple mission operations on the way uh, to this location so that I could make some extra money on the way here. Anyways, let's go ahead and travel there and let's get done with it. Alright, let's see what are the contracts in here. So this is campaign contracts. And here is what it says. Attack the Davion Garrison on Montor. We need you to collect the data on the enemy forces while destroying a number of their units. So... Uh 
now uh, they don't specify you what type of mission this one is this is you know like one of my problems with this mcwarrior 5 mercenaries game which is unlike uh, let's say mcwarrior 2 either mercenaries or clans they don't give you some uh, any clear objectives uh, or don't specify the mission type. This is basically, you know, since I've already played this campaign uh, before a long time ago. As far as I can remember, this, uh, this mission is going to be something like a uh, war zone. Where you get an infinite uh, a number of mechs, you do need to destroy a minimum amount of them and everything else past that is going to be a bonus so let's go ahead and uh, confirm this contract actually i don't think there will be any good salvage because this mission is has only 30 level difficulty i might as well just go after the money altogether and the pay is pretty negligible at this point this was remained from previous multiple missions when where I was using my landsmates, but the goal here is to complete all of these campaigns using only one mech. And for that matter, you know, just to get started, I will actually go ahead and select uh, one of these marauders, the one I was just talking about, and the one that we are going to receive as a bonus after completing this campaign, which is once again one of my all-time favorite early in campaign uh, heavy mechs and mechs in general so let me show you once again this loadout i've featured it many many times on this channel already there is nothing uh, really new about it in case if you've seen this video so this is my preferred loadout for this uh, mech it's an absolutely fantastic mech. It hasn't failed me a single time. You do need to be a little bit mindful of heat, uh, which is generated by all of these uh, three PPCs, but it's nothing uh, impossible in here in terms of heat. Just needs to be extra cautious and that's it. It's a great, it's got a great range and a great uh, firepower, especially at a close range, so What's not to like about it? Anyways, so let's go ahead and take this contract and see how we will do in this mission using this amazing marauder. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. from hostile forces link up with them and hold off the enemy advance as long as possible be sure not to overextend yourself commander eventually you will need to fall back to the evac point minister vandenberg has called for an investigation into rumors of deviant troop buildups in the vertigris system we are contracting you to prod deviant defenses at the marked nav point while we collect data on the regional defenses of the area while your contract only calls for a certain number of units to be destroyed the concordant is willing to offer performance bonuses if you neutralize additional deviant defenders Ah, I guess I, I need to get to the waypoint first. This guy's probably in a pretty terrible shape. Yeah, he's about to go. attention they are converging on your position brace for hostile contact well i guess it's better to stay closer to the place i came from because that's also going to be where the extraction point uh, will be placed So we 
get to destroy 17 targets before we start getting some bonuses. Target destroyed. Nothing so far on my radar yet. Yeah, you know, honestly, given the fact that this is the campaign mission, they could have had a little bit more originality than, you know, just dressing up a typical war zone um, contract in a fancy story. But uh, the, the following two missions, as far as I can, I, I can remember, will be quite original, which is nice. Oops. I'm moving too fast. Oops. Uh hard to shoot at a moving target while moving yourself. Enemy mech is heavily damaged. First uh, energy is shut down. Got to paste. I should stop uh, doing salvos. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> He's like fell from somewhere <laughs> over there. Javelin. I think this is where we came from. So we better stay closer to this location. It's a pretty simple build, but Additional it works. Hostiles have been dispatched. They're heading your way. something about that trebuchet. and have a narrow window to evac if you're ready. Uh, let's do a few more uh, kills. Target Just for some bonuses. I don't wanna waste too much of your time doing this, but let me just do a few more and then 
will leave because again this mission is nothing really special it's just a, a typical war zone contract let's see what's going on i hope none of them get stuck because all these vehicles they like getting stuck Anything else out here? It's gonna take a long time. I don't wanna waste it. Let's, Let's just continue here, with the campaign. Job well done. Yes, I am in a good shape and All I can do more kills, but I am not gonna bother. I just wanna continue with uh, with this campaign and explore other missions because this one is just nothing special, just a typical war zone or a battlefield contract. Yeah, not even a good salvage, which is to be expected. Uh, from uh, such a level difficulty mission so yeah pretty you know uh, mediocre number of mechs i could stay there and could do more kills once again but i just don't want to waste time and i want to continue with this campaign okay so let's set this one to repair and then let's uh, let's go ahead and see what another transmission has to say here is the second part. Uh, this is an interesting development, mercenary. We analyzed your battle computer and sifted through the remains of the mechs you downed. Something is strange in that the hostiles on Montor don't seem to fit the description of the Devion regiment. It now appears possible that the enemy force was not actually belonging to a Devion battle company but a band of um, marauding pirates uh, that disgust themselves as federation forces. The Torian Ministry of Intelligence has tracked the group back to the world of Badlands, better known as Pirates Haven. Uh, the Torian uh, Guard have been activated and will travel to Pirate's Heaven to bring justice to those cowards who would dare provoke us. We want you to join the Toran Guard and assist them in neut neutralizing this mystery force. Whether they are Davion or Pirate in origin, make sure none of them miss their date with the Executioner. All right, so let's go ahead and accept this second part. And now I suppose we need to depart somewhere. Yeah, Pirates Haven, just like he was saying. So let's go and fly out there. It took a month to get there. All right, so it seems like we've discovered something in this area, right? No. That's interesting. What what is this last post? Torian Concordat, that's their territory. Yeah. Yeah, just like I was saying earlier, they could definitely have some uh some kind of uh, you know industrial hubs in this area. Look at the title, Cadiz. Cadiz. Don't they have another Cadiz in Kuritan territory? 
look at this. You see, there is another Cadiz uh, in uh, House Kurita territory. This Cadiz, and then the, the one that I've just shown you over here. Yeah, and it says Totoran Concordat. Why would they use the same title after a Spanish city? Anyways, so it looks like actually, you know what? Uh, this could be uh, ah no it's a it's a black market i guess over here yeah it's a black market it's still a conflict zone no it's not really an industrial hub it's a it's a conflict zone but at least you know repair cost and repair time is kind of reasonable okay anyways let's let's actually check the mech market yeah nothing special just uh, light mechs because again this is somewhat an easy area then equipment is probably going to be a bunch of crap and junk yeah low tier junk nothing of interest for me yep except for the antenna but this is a mod yeah okay let's actually make 10 of this and 14 because i just like you know even numbers Better than the odd ones. Let's make it 12 as well. Okay, anyway, so I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's uh, go ahead and proceed with this contract. Okay, now the difficulty level is 35. Here is what the contract says. Uh, the campaign area is... Uh, 1.69 square kilometers which is fairly small and it's going to be on the volcanic planet it's gonna be pretty hot so here is the briefing we've tracked the pirates back to a hideout in uh, the badlands better known as pirates haven it will be a rough uh, terrain but nothing your mechs can't handle Support the Torrent Guard and crush these freebooters. We have faith in you, Commander. Okay. So let's go after the maximum pay. Yeah, I don't need any junky salvage. Let's confirm. At least we are getting uh, 4.3 million this time. Let's weather, confirm. Visibility will be limited out there. And, and you know what? For this mission, I'd like to, ch ch uh, to ch uh, choose this um, amazing crab. The one that I've been so much fascinated with in my previous campaign. This is a medium 50 ton mech. Let me show you the loadout. It's quite incredible. This is actually, uh, I believe, one of the earlier Star League era variants. Perhaps maybe even Star League Royal Defense Force variants, but don't quote me of the, uh, on that. I'm not quite sure about this, and if I'm wrong, uh, please let me know about this down in the comments. But this particular variant, CRB-27SL, is quite special. Let's take a look at the loadout. As you can see, we've got four energy slots, uh, four la I mean two large and two small. It's quite simple, but this simplicity works outstandingly well. And most importantly, here we've got jump jets and a whopping speed of 93.1 uh, kilometers per hour. This isn't the original speed. Original speed was 81 kilometers per hour, but I boosted it with an upgrade. And now let me show you the upgrade in here. So these are all the upgrades. I've uh, reinforced the armor and structure all the way to the max. And also I've increased the damage potential of all these energy weapons. And then boosted top speed and then uh, added acceleration and deceleration. Here. Yeah, it's quite amazing. Let me actually go ahead and test it on this hot planet and see if it's going to overheat. I'm quite curious. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this mission and see how we do. Look. 
focus. Commander, the Taurian guards have tracked these Davian raiders to the Badlands Cluster, better known as Pirate's Haven. They've decided to make their stand along a great chasm, with only a few bridges allowing passage across it. We are hoping that, with your help, we can break the stalemate and find retribution against these dogs of the Federation. The Federation of the Commander. Incoming missile target required. Hunchback, which appears to be stuck. Ah, optional is to destroy Enemy the artillery. Let's shoot him in the back. Shut the side. Okay, let's go after the artillery. Let's try to fulfill this. Target acquired. artillery in here. Something is stalking me though. What's this? So it looks like we are done with the artillery. Almost. Go up for all the other targets. Why? Target acquired. 
a lot of light mix in here. Target acquired. Thunderbolt, yeah, finally we have some heavy mech in here. Oh wow, it took me like two salvos to core this one. Amazing mech. The skin crab. I mean, uh, not, not the king crab, the re regular crab is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I love it. Yes, it's a uh, medium range mech, but man, what a fantastic medium range mech this one is. Well, it's better than a big one. to capture and interrogate as many POWs as possible to see who we're dealing with here. Commander, fall in with Marshal Grenadine and await further instruction. Wow, this, uh, this mech uh, keeps... Uh surpassing my expectations nineteen mech kills yeah I mean most of them were uh, light mechs but still still you know there was one thunderbolt which I destroyed uh, in truth salvos amazing absolutely amazing yeah this king crap I keep saying this, not a king crab, regular crab, just a crab, is, is the beast, yeah, it just works, pretty simple build, but it works, it just works, yes, it's a medium range mech, but it's got speed, it's got a great speed, anyways, Let's see what the other transmission has to say. Um, yeah, this last one. So it's all become clear. We took uh, some POWs from your last attack and subjected them to some advanced interrogation techniques. The pirate forces were indeed making it appear like they were, were Davion forces. Uh, preparing to stage an attack on us. It seems like they were attempting to coax us into war with Davion forces in an attempt to make Torren worlds easier targets for plunder, something that almost happened if we did not possess our trademark uh, Torren dis uh, discipline. The remaining forces uh, have uh, retreated to an area of Pirate's Haven known as the Black Cliffs, a, a labyrinthine uh, network of tall canyons that are impossible to scout or assault by air. We will need to descend into the labyrinths by mech and clear them out all at once. Continue to assist the Torrent Guard and make sure no one escapes our uh, Marshal's justice. All right, so looks like this is going to be the final mission. Let's continue with it. Do we need to travel somewhere? No, looks like we are gonna be in the same system. Let's go ahead and take the contract. Now it's 50 difficulty level mission. The pirate forces have fallen back to a region known as uh, the Black Cliffs. It will be a tough fight, but with the Toran Guard it will be easy enough to flush out the last of the raiders. Okay, well, let's continue with all this. No, actually not this, but this. Okay, let's confirm. The pay is now a little bit less than in the previous mission. 
And for this mission, you know, why don't I just go ahead and take another favorite of mine, this Warhammer. No, not this, this one. I've shown this many times on this channel. I even completed the final mission of the Solaris Showdown campaign with it. This is a monster of a Warhammer. This build that I've made in here. Look at this. The fire power, power is 116.1 uh, point points. It's immense. This is also, by the way, medium uh, to close range mech. But a fantastic one. So let's see if, how we do in this mission. I, I can't. I just can't get enough of this uh, Warhammer. Ah, and then the um, upgrades are this. Just you know, armor and structure to all the way to the max, and help it with the heat a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this mission and see how we do with it. have taken refuge deep in the Black Cliffs, a labyrinth of narrow canyons and caves that make it impossible to scout or attack with aerospace assets. For this, we will need to go in and flush them out with mechs and armor. Strike forces will be divided up by lance and advance through one of these many entrances boxing these pirate forces in. Support each other when you can, but, but be sure to cover your own entryway and ensure no pirate forces escape the justice of the Tarian Defense Force. There's some fight going on. No. Let's continue going forward with this. Ah, something good. New target, javelin. It's over here. Guys, you can take down a helicopter. Target destroyed. Yeah. Indeed, they can. Another enemy dropship incoming. Is this where, where they are coming from? Looks like. It. Target 
Yeah, this is what this Warhammer does. Lots of helicopters, I must say. Perhaps this is too far for these PPCs. Okay, I need to focus more on the mechs instead. else out here ah yeah there is any more drop ships wow how many helicopters they got disappear through the smaller caves without their mech or armored forces they should no longer be a significant enough threat to the concordant to warrant our attention thank you for your professionalism out there commander we'll be sure to get your unit debriefed and squared away back at headquarters all right so this is it Is this variant? Uh, this is with the large laser. I don't really like this particular one. Okay, obviously, there is not gonna be 
a double hit sink in here. Uh, see. Okay, yeah. So 20 mech kills. Most of which of were of course light mechs, but still you see one salvo and the light mech is gun or even medium mechs some of those like cicadas okay so here is the completion message thank you mercenary because of your actions we were able to crush this band of pirates but most importantly we avoided an unnecessary and surely brutal conflict with davion forces we've sent along your pay as well as a glowing commendation to the mercenary review board yeah so i am receiving this amazing marauder the one that i used for the first mission of this campaign and why don't i actually go ahead and start uh start refitting it uh, right away so um to, to quickly strip it down down i uh, moved it into the cold storage just to st strip it off quickly um, and then let's go ahead and refit it that's how i like the armor all maxed out right except that um i will have to shave off a few points of the legs like that oh actually what am i doing i have a saved uh, loadout already yeah this is how i like it you see only shaving shaving of a couple of points from the legs uh, everything else everything else uh, you know it's gonna ah this is my older loadout back uh, before i didn't have before I didn't have the uh, uh, PPC-X that was e even before we had this uh, Solaris Showdown campaign. That was my initial loadout, but this is now my preferred one with this one, PPC-X. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this one. Let's paint it into my uh, preferred dark camo. And then let's do the upgrades. Uh, the upgrades are going to be as follows. This stuff is going to be reinforced. Then I, I am going to go for the... Uh, for the uh, enhanced energy output. Yeah, this one. And then enhanced energy just, you know... For or better damage potential where is the other one can seem to find the other one yeah this one and then the heat uh, heat containment yeah this is what i like let's put this to work all right well and this is it this is it so far well as you can see at this point I have accepted all the transmission except for the uh, for Rayanas. Uh, the, these are just, you know, additional conflict zones. Uh, conflict zones with the increased difficulty level. That's all what these are about. So this is it as far as all the campaigns go for this particular uh, mercenary career. This is the year of 3043. We've completed the primary campaign. Uh, I fought the Camstar, and then I've completed all the campaign, every campaign thereafter, using a single mech while going solo. And as you can see, it is totally possible. It is totally possible not having any lance mates in this game at all it is beneficial of course having them on some missions especially let's say like warzone 
contracts where you wanna stay past negotiated uh, contract time to earn, earn extra bonuses, they can be handy in there. They can be also quite handy on the defense missions because you can put them in distant corners and cover the object, uh, you know, more efficiently this way. But other than that, you know, you can pretty much survive it on your own. So the landsmates are not the requirement. Except perhaps maybe some crazy difficult uh, raid mission, which don't happen uh, very often, but some crazy difficult raid missions in the mega city environment. I have done video on that, it's like one of my first videos on that channel where it, you get some like crazy difficulty spy. But anyways, it was an interesting experiment though, trying to complete everything on your own. And as a result, you know, even though this is the year 3043, I don't have a lot of uh, pilots who have uh, achieved their full potential. A lot of them, as you can see, they still need training. I mean, these guys, I had them from early on in the campaign, but I mean, the, these ones, none, none of them has reached their full potential yet. They still need some training, and this uh, one I received as a bonus, yeah. Ah, I guess one thing which I haven't completed yet in this, in this particular uh, career, I have not fought uh, Bounty Hunter yet, not yet, I do still need to, uh, to achieve the rival intel level 10, let me see what is the, yeah, you see, I'm getting close though, I'm getting close though, I just need to get myself in trouble. Uh, with uh, with rival mercenaries in order to do that. But anyways, anyways, so... I'm not sure what's gonna be my next video all about and whether even I will make any videos. As far as MechWarrior Mercenaries uh, game is concerned, because we have, uh, we have another game coming up, MechWarrior 5 Clans. That will be interesting to check out. This is something that I am definitely looking forward to. Aquarior 5 Clans. Now, besides that, besides that, and I am not sure how true is that, but... There are some rumors that this game, Aquarior 5 Mercenaries, may receive another DLC. And if it's gonna be the case, then, well, uh, this is probably going to be a clan invasion, and that's uh, something that may be interesting to check out. I mean, it's definitely gonna be interesting to check out. And most importantly, uh, I'm very, very curious to see, like, if there is a clan invasion in this game. What would be the reaction uh, of Mason, Commander Mason? What would be his reaction? Because his father had uh, clans origins. Clearly at this point that he's been spying for the clans uh, the same way as Wolf's uh, Dragoons were. So uh, that would be interesting, even though Mason, uh, Commander Mason, Jake Mason doesn't know anything about this yet. So if there will be a clan invasion, I'm sure he will eventually find out that his father was working for them. And I'm very curious to see what would be his reaction on that matter. Like, there are two possible ways. Um, first way, of course, he might get disappointed. He will say like, oh my gosh, I can't believe my father did something like that. Or uh, other possible scenario, he may actually, you know, uh, get endorsed by them. You know, and get recruited by them and will start, you know, serving them. You never know, you never know what's, uh, what may be possible scenarios. So that's gonna be interesting. If it's gonna be uh, happen again, I don't know. I don't know uh, how true are those rumors. 
but that's uh, that's definitely something interesting to see in the future and uh, finally finally uh, i think in one of my other careers in this game i i am about to fight bounty hunter maybe this is something what i should do next and if you guys are interested in that please let me know uh, your thoughts on that in the comments yeah maybe that's the other mission that i should do but anyways, we'll leave, we'll see. I don't know what's gonna be m my next video, so we'll see how it goes. Plus, I have some other videos uh, overdue for publishing, because I did upload um, uh, some videos, but I do need to provide some timestamps for them, just so that it's easier for you guys to watch them. So that's what I'm going to be doing next for sure. I mean, I don't have a lot of them, but I do still have some that I need to publish on this channel. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching. It's been fun. Uh, I really appreciate uh, all of your support. Thanks again. And until the next time, have a nice day.